back to my channel i do hope you're doing well so my b and m didn't have any material bags this month and me being me forgot the four that i had indoors so don't worry though we've still got a huge haul we've got two oh i can barely lift these ones two of the plastic bags and i'll tell you what i was thinking as i was walking to the car please do not break on me because plastic bags i'm a little dubious they're not as uh reliable i found out in past little experiences as the material ones but they've held up well so let's stop rabbiting let's just get in with it is our monthly b m haul so that is another little bargain shop ticked off the list we've had home bargains we've now got b m will i get another one in this month who knows there's a few fashion hauls coming up but yes let's stop rabbiting and get in with it because we've got a quite quite a few good little finds in this month my lovelies so let's just go with the lighter one of the two let's just say so what have we got what have we got let's start with this your girl wanted some biscuits i picked up one two three four five ten packs of mini cream cookies now i think i've had these before a very similar style and these are a pound i mean come on guys a pound for all of that and these are handy because they go in my work drawer and i treat myself normally either on a monday or a friday a friday is like congrats you've made it through the week or if i've had a really bad monday morning it's kind of a pick me up like come on you've got this like we're almost we're almost through monday and then it's just four more days of the week but yes you have vanilla filling you have orange filling banana strawberry or you have a chocolate biscuit with a cocoa filling so yes highly recommend them and you know what 10 packs for one pan 10p a bag can you really moan about it no i don't think you can don't think you can at all oh i have picked some bits up for dada so i think these are the rollovers that have been left from the world cup no it's not the world cup it was the euros the big football tournament that's over now so i picked these up for dad these were chicken tackle masala five pack of walkers for one pound as i say they had quite a few they had the hot dog ones still i think or as i say it must just be surplus stock that they need to get gone because the football's not anymore and we're coming into the autumn months so you need to be changing up all of your flavours of crisps to match the autumnal season. So yes, he will be very happy with those. Now. <laughs> I picked up a six pack of air fresheners. Now, the car, as I say, I always get bits for bug in the essence that I'm going to have the car cleaned and then I never do. She's been cleaned internally. She was cleaned while we went away to the log cabin, but the outside, we're not had a chance to get her to like a car wash it. So, it doesn't matter because I can actually put my new little air fresheners out in her. So, I got a six pack of air fresheners for one forty nine, and that all kind of giving me like Joe Malone vibes. So, they're blush peony, fresh linen, sweet cherry, sweet pomegranate, tropical breeze, and warm vanilla scents. And I thought, you know what, because the car has been cleaned now, might as well do it because come next month in september that is when i religiously do change my air fresheners so from next month it's gonna be cinnamon it's gonna be orange it's gonna be spice nutmeg and then that is probably the only times i actually do change the air fresheners in my car that probably sounds terrible september october november december and then throughout the year, it's just whenever and whenever I change it. But no, I'm going to make a conscious effort to put those in the car actually tomorrow morning before work. Right. Did we need another washing up liquid? No. Mama G is going to absolutely kill me, but I couldn't help it. It is the big boy of 820 mil, and this was £1.20. Fairy washing up liquid, and let's squeeze it without it squirting up. Bubbles. <laughs> I was going to say, but without it squirting up my nose, it just squirted bubbles at me. But oh, I picked it up in Citrus Grove because it just gave me tropical vibes. Look at all the flamingos and that on there. It's a lovely orange colour. So I thought, you know what? You're going in the trolley, all right? Because yes, I'm that person. I can't go to a bargain shop, whether it be Home Bargains, Poundland, a B&M, Savers, Pound Stretcher, any bargain shop at all, I have to get a trolley. And if they don't have a trolley, I do question it. I'm like... Still got little bubbles flying around. I'm like, excuse me, do you have any trolleys, please? Because I'm going to be getting quite a lot of baskets through here. And do you even go to a bargain shop 
if you don't pick up the cans of drinks. No. So I picked up three. We got ah, two Fanta Twist and a Rubicon Mango. These are perfect, cheap and cheerful, 49.50 p a can. I pair these all with my gins. Love to just drink them on their own and you can't go wrong. The only thing, I think I might do an online pan shop order soon because I do like to bulk stock up on my cans and when it's me carrying them, I get like five, six, eight at an absolute push because trying to lug it from the shop to the car or the car indoors is just, it's too heavy. So yeah, I might have to do a big order of that very, very soon. Picked Mama G up some caramel wafer biscuits. She loves these. They're by a brand Tunnocks. And it's a five pack for one pound. That's her little sweet treat. She does like a bit of caramel. I can't really have like caramel or toffee things anymore because it always gets stuck on my tongue bar, which is highly annoying because I really used to like, you know, the chocolate eclair sweets. Oh my God, I used to love them. I could eat them out of the bag for days and days on end. But since having my tongue done, I can't. I have tried several times thinking, oh, maybe like I can work around it now. No, I can chew. But then when I try and pass through to the other side, because this jaw, they're very chewy sweets, gets a bit achy. When I pass it through, it always gets stuck on the middle. And that hurts when you're trying to get that off your tongue bar and it is pulling. Mm -mm -mm. Can't be having any of that, my lovelies. So i got some sweets for me. I've got these because I've never actually seen these. And they are fruity Skittles. Obviously, I've seen Skittles, but they're giants. And it says they're softer inside. Three times bigger. Should we open them? Because I don't actually know what they're like. Can we open them? How do you? Oh, there we go. Let's tear them open. Let's have a look, shall we? Because I ain't had nothing to eat all day again. And I am starving. So let's see. Oh, my God. You know what they remind me of? The really big, like, M&Ms. <gasps> right, what colour do I want? Let's go for a red one. They are huge. Look at that. I wouldn't say they're softer inside. If anything, they're a bit more chewy. Oh, just look at them. Mmm. Very nice. I'm going to have to stop myself because I could eat the whole bag all at once, but can't be doing that. What have we got in here? We've got some sauce. Oh, so, right. You know when you need a pasta sauce, you think, yeah, yeah, I've got one in there. The past few times I've gone to do pasta dishes, I can swear that we have pasta sauces in there. As you know, our kitchen cupboards are always filled up, especially with, like, the sauces and the pasta bakes. Can never find one. Can never find one. And then it's a mad dash to Tesco because it's like, I need a sauce. So I've picked this up and this is going to go pride a place at the front of the cupboard so that I know I've got one. And it is just a Ragu Rochester, New York, original chunky bolognese sauce. Serves three to four, but let's be serious. That's going to serve just me and Mama G. But this will be done in either like a pasta bake or bolognese meatballs, which we will bulk cook. So in essence, you get like four to six servings. But yes, one pound. So I was, as soon as I saw it, I thought, you know what? It's a good brand. However, it does look a little bit watery. It don't look as thick as the normal ones, but hey-ho, we'll see. It's got um, some herbs in it, so that's good. As long as it tastes nice, I'm not too fussed. But yes, put that in because, say, pasta sauces just seem to go missing from our cupboards. Obviously, they don't go missing. We use them, but it's kind of like we have a mind lapse and we forget that we use them. And then when we go and they're not there, I'm like, I've got no pasta sauces. So we do have to resort to using tins of chopped tomatoes, which luckily by me, I buy those in a tray of 12 or 16. So we've always got chopped tomatoes in the house, me lovelies. Don't you worry about that. And would you look at that? That means our first bag, done. Right, moving on to our second bag, which is extremely heavy. Whew. So this is a little bit of everything and anything. Pick this up for a pound. And you know what? I don't know what it's going to taste like. I just saw the colour and I thought, that looks fancy. So for one pound, I picked up a bottle of Fanta. But it says, what the Fanta? Zero sugar, but it doesn't tell you what it tastes like. It just says a sparkling low-calorie fruit drink with sweeteners. I don't know what it's going to taste like. I would say I'll try it now, but it's a little bit warm. 
and I don't really like warm fizzy drinks. So I'm going to put that in the fridge, and then what I will do is I'll let you know over on my Instagrams, whether it be the lifestyle, probably more than likely it will be the food one. They're always linked down below in the descriptions box. And I'll let you know what we go, because I don't know, is that going to be like a blue raspberry, like a slush flavour? Not too sure, but I saw it and I just liked it. Also picked up some more snacks for myself, didn't I, for a quiz. Six pack of beef space raiders. But I am sorry, these packs are getting smaller and smaller and smaller, and they're half filling them. They are tiny. I like the big bags, and I'm trying to get them. I can't seem to find them anywhere. You used to get like the big share bags of space raiders. Please, if you've seen them anywhere, let me know because I can't find them in my Tesco, my Asda, any of my bargain shops. It's just these little ones. And I'm not going to lie, I can probably sit through and eat three packs in one sitting because you get maybe, what, five to eight heads per thing? God, I sure know my crisp if I can estimate how many heads you get in a bag. But, yeah, not really happy. They're only 64 calories a bag, though, but baked, not fried. So they are a healthier, she says, healthier alternative to normal crisp. But yeah, why Why are you not filling them up? I was talking to Bee's mum about this the other day and I was just like, why is everything like either staying at the same price or going up in price, but the quantities are getting smaller? Whether that be at Christmas on like the tins of sweets, celebrations, quality street, all of that jazz. Crisps. Even Batiste dry shampoo, right? I tried to do an order last night and I thought, you know what, I'll just go to the shop and look. You used to get a 400 mil carton for four quid. Now... I think it's 450 for a 340 mil. Batiste, like, what are you doing? Why are you you're making the bottle smaller, but you're increasing the prices? I just don't I don't get the logic of it, to be perfectly honest. And I was just eyeing up the Skittles uh to have another few, but I'm not gonna. I just tell me if I'm the only one who just thinks it's mind baffling how prices are either staying the same or going up, but the portions are getting smaller, like. You're not giving me a reduction in price for a smaller product. Because if you were, I'd probably think, all right, I'll buy a couple. But you're not. You're charging me more for a smaller product. Enough said. I don't like to feel cheated, all right? Right. One of my lovelies sent me this on Instagram. And I was like, when I go to b and I'm on the hunt for this. And I found it. So you will remember in the last tour, I picked up quite a few, like, bee-themed things. I've actually got, there it is, the little bee-hanging thing, be yourself. She sent me this and I was like, oh my God, I need this. Don't know why I need it. Don't know where it's going to go, but I need it. So this was down the special buy aisle and it was £3. <laughs> Look, it's a little bee happy clock. Now I have no idea because this is gold. And as we all know, I'm more like silver to gold. But I'm thinking anywhere. I'm going to keep this when I move out. Not that I need any more home decor before I move out, as you will tell by the essentials for moving out on a budget vlog. But hey ho, we're going to put this when we move out. And I thought, you know what? Even as like, it's probably going to sound so weird, like a little clock in a bathroom or toilet. Or like just an odd little cupboard or a utility room, whatever. I just thought this was really nice. And yeah, when my lovely sent it to me on Instagram, I was like, I need that. And luckily, I found it. So I was all happy. And as I say, be happy as it says. Right, what else have we got? What else have we got? Oh, we've got more cans in here. I can't remember picking these up. Well, I must have been feeling very strong to be carrying bags with cans in both bags. Let's just say that. Right. Oh, my God, you're going to really shout at me now. <laughs> so, when I was down the special buy aisle, obviously, I saw that. And you will remember from the last month's haul, I picked up a baby mini pink frying pan. They also had it in grey at the time, and when I come back, I was really sad with myself because I wanted both. I should have just picked both up. So when I went down the special buy aisle, I made a beeline for that. And can you guess what else I made a beeline for? The grey one. I'm sorry, this was £3, and it is just the cutest. Look at that. And now I really want to get like a little plinth. So then when we move out and we have a kitchen, I can just put this in the little pink one on. I think that is absolutely adorable. Mama G is going to hit the roof when she sees this. Because again, I went unsupervised. I think I need to stop going to the bargain shops unsupervised. I think her thoughts of, well, she's an adult, are backfiring terribly. Because 
clearly I can't be trusted because I come back with more mini pastel ranges. And this range, so the pastel home, it's pastel grey and pastel pink, but they do a whole range of stuff. So they do bakeware, they do silicone bakeware, they do utensils. I could get more carried away than I am, but I'm going to stick at just the mini frying pans. And that also will be going away for when I move out. So I've got my little mini frying pan section. Oh my god. Oh, sorry my lovelies. No pair of lashes. We all know because I'm not used to putting lashes or getting dolled up. It's only for when I film because as you know by my vlogs, 90% of the time I make up free hair up. Just embracing the own natural looks. And my eyes do get a little irritated to say the least. Right. What else have we got in here? So we've got another couple of drinks. What have we got? These would have been 50p also. Oh, picked up a Vimto Zero and Lucasade. Do love a good bit of Lucasade because I do find, especially when it comes to the time of the month, I wake up and because I'm hypoglycemic, so my sugar levels are always really low. It's a form of diabetes in a way, but instead of my sugars being high, they're low. So I always wake up and especially, as I say, if it's time of the month, you're always like that little bit lower, like your iron and all of that. So these are handy just to keep a couple in the fridge. So that when I get up and I do feel a bit, whew, probably not great to drink it first thing in the morning. Probably not going to lie, but hey-ho, it steadies me before I have to go work and like drive and all that jazz. Oh, right. <laughs> We're going to save that till last because I think you are going to shout at me through the screen when you see it. But, what's this? Oh, picked up for £1 Fabulosa Electrify Toilet Cleaning Gel. Not a lot to say on this, but I haven't sniffed it yet. Oh, there we go. We've broke the seal. Because we all know I'm a little bit, uh, I inhale too much. So let's just do a little, but I want to do it in like squirts everywhere. Oh! Oh my god, that's very fresh. Smells like a shower gel. Like an imperial leather shower gel. But hey-ho, I love the packaging. A very vibrant, very zing. And Fabulosa is suitable for vegans. So any of my vegan followers, get down there. Fabulosa cleaning products. Fabulosa, Zaflora. What was the other one? Floella. I think that's Savers version. Absolutely love them all. Love them, love them, love them. What have we got here? Ah. Picked Mama G up a little mugshot roast chicken. These are 40p per packet. I mean, come on. As we all know, I'm more of like smart and a herb or minestrone. Mama G likes the roast chicken pasta. But yeah, not really a cup of tea for me, that is. And then what have we got in here? Ah, actually, good job because she just said that she hasn't got any of these. So I picked up their range of antibags. It's quite, I was going to say viral. It's not viral. It's, um... How can you say, well stocked up of this brand. So the brand is Hygienics. This little one was 29p and this one was 59p. And you know what? They don't smell too bad. They're not too watery. They're a good consistency. And yeah, I will probably give these to Mama G because she's literally just said, you got any antibacks I've been running at? And I don't really want to give her my Bath and Body Works ones because they're my special autumn ones. So instead of going to Tesco and like, because Tesco's are getting a rip off, I'm sorry for antibacks. Mm -mm -mm. not happy with them i had you know the tea tree ones i stocked up on you would have seen them in previous vlogs they went down to a pound they've now put them back up to two pound fifty why because you had them down to one pound for a reduced to clear and now you're not clearing them you've whacked them back up to 250 so yes hygienics if you see them in b&m and i think home bargains may do them or a very similar brand pick them up my love it's all right one pound twenty very standard. I picked up a limited edition. Now, I normally have the roll-on of Dove. I do have a spray version, but I don't know about you. I find with sprays, they don't really settle or I get like, you know, when it goes to powder and I don't like that. That's not a good look. But this one said that it was one quarter moisturizing cream and it's the pomegranate and lemon verbana set, which I absolutely love. And I thought, you know what? It's great just to keep in the car if need be. If you're ever like, it's been a hot day, which... I would say it is now, but it's currently pouring down with rain and we're in the middle of August, but hey-ho. So, yes, I thought we'd pick that up. That was one twenty nine, I believe, because it's like, I need to get down to my boots. I was going to do an order and I want to see my dry shampoos. See how much smaller they are, you know, my lovelies? Oh, God. Right, so I picked this up for a pound. Oh, two pound this was. That would explain why I only got one of you then. So this was in the outdoor living section. So, obviously, it's for outdoor living. But I'm thinking of this 
if you've seen my moving out on a budget bathroom edition you will know i'm kind of going for like a buddha theme there so i saw this little guy i thought he was a pan but he's only two so that explains why i only got one it's just a little tea light holder so i thought i could have my big buddha tea light holder then i'm going to have my buddha ring holder and then i thought that little guy would just be nice a little set of three so he was picked up and away in the trolley he went couple more tins again the bargain shops are essentials they're so cheap and cheerful for your tins i think these are 29 or 39p just picked up a kidney bean and sweet corn these are so handy to have in literally can add them to everything and anything i'm losing room on my can and now that's when you know we're having a good haul add them to everything and anything salads burritos you're doing a pasta dish whack them in so yes it's highly advise you to check out the tin section in the bargain shop because i say you don't want to be paying a fortune in the likes of tesco's and the supermarkets get them all down the bargain shop right the last two things you're going to moan at me either way so what are we going to go for first we'll go for this you saw that then didn't you i walked down the candle aisle because I wanted to pick up one of my little Copenhagen candles. Do you remember them? They was like lime and watermelon and citrus, 129. Couldn't see them anywhere. But they started to do like American candy candles. So I picked up Jolly Ranchers. I've never tried the sweet. I've heard they're lovely. But this was 150 and it's a watermelon scented candle. And let me just tell you. I need to try the sweets after I've smelled this. All right, this was 150 as I say, and it's just a Jolly Rancher, and it is just a standard little corrugated in a way holder, pink handle. But I did have to stop myself from just buying the one. I wanted to buy quite a few, to be perfectly honest. But I thought, no, just the one, and then we can have a look at how how it feels, how it feels, how it smells, and then we can get the uh, sweeties. Try and find the sweets. And then the last thing, oh, this was £2.50, I went down the mug aisle and I just couldn't say no. So we have, my lovelies, a huge, and I mean huge mug, right? And it's bee themed, look! Beautiful, how gorgeous is that? And this is a big mug. I say, look, my hand is right around it. This can be nice for a nice spring morning. Well, summer morning. Still have me hot chocolates all season round. But yes, nice, big, sturdy mug. So, will I use this now? Or will this go away for when I move out? Because I have got a bee mug from last month. This might have to uh, hold out until I move out. Because it's just too cute. It's just too cute, ain't it, my lovelies? And would you look at that? We've got a table filled. We've got uh, maybe some unnecessary bits. We've got cleaning bits. We've got candles. We've got mugs. We've got drinks. We've got sweets. That's the end of this month's haul. <laughs> so just like that, another month has gone. But this is the last summer haul because word has it that they're starting to get the autumnal and Christmas bits in. And as you all know, I absolutely love the autumn and winter seasons. Cannot wait. So best believe next month I'm going to be trying to bring you all the autumnal bits and bobs, all the pumpkins, all the spiced cinnamon, the spiced orange. Oh my God, I just absolutely love it all. Okay? So if you're not really into the autumn and winter seasons, I don't know if you're going to like my channel that much. But hey ho, stick around. Stick around. Don't unsubscribe yet. If anything, if you know anyone who does like a bit of autumn and winter content, bring them over to the channel and hit that subscribe as i say we are growing and growing and i just it baffles me every time i go on and if i see it's gone up by one or two or sometimes i go on i've gained like 10 in a day and i think oh my god how are people finding me and why do they want to watch me i say i do hope you enjoy the content there are going to be a lot of horse coming there's going to be a lot of more vlogs coming into the autumn months because i say we're going to be doing some more things and hopefully doing a lot of things that we couldn't do last year so last year it was the first year i'd done youtube through the autumn and winter period and we couldn't really do much because we was in lockdown so fingers crossed good old boris doesn't put us in another lockdown we can do everything that we couldn't do last year but best believe we're still going to be pumpkin picking that is an essential every year for me and mama g so as i say just plenty of fun 
fun vlogs. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm rambling as always. Look at this. Is it ever a Shannon outro without a bit of rambles? But if you did enjoy the video, guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment of your favourite bit from the haul. Have you tried Jolly Rancher sweets? Please do let me know. Do you have a little bit of a bee obsession like me? Clearly, two bee things in one haul. Shannon Lee, what are you doing? And has your store started getting in the autumn, Halloween, Christmas bits? Please do let me know where they are, location, because I want to start doing more road trips. So put them out, whether they're all the way high up in Scotland or all the way down in Portsmouth. I think that's surf. I'm really terrible with geography. I do apologise. When I have a little bit of a road trip, whether that be B&M, Home Bargains, if you've got big home scents and TK Maxx's near you, because mine ain't really that big, which is sad. If you've got big ones down there, let me know. Down there, up there, wherever. What else? What else? What else? Primark. Of course, the biggest one is Birmingham. But if yours is a big one, let me know. That probably didn't come out right. But hey-ho. I'm definitely going to stop rambling before this gets misconstrued as something a little bit saucy, eh? But yes, take care. Stay safe as always. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.